Student athletes getting to benefit from their own name, image, and likeness may not be something that's just for Division I schools. That's today on Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams, and if you enjoy these videos, please do consider liking and sharing them, and please consider subscribing to the channel Midwest Sports Net. Well, the NCAA Division II President's Council is getting things in order to be able to submit to the 2021 NCAA Convention legislative proposals that would benefit Division II athletes in regards to their name, image, and likeness. Now the legislative wording is still being put together but this has been advanced and it looks like it will be on the docket for the 2021 NCAA convention. Now the name, image, and likeness benefits are being put together in two different areas. Student athlete businesses as well as the promotion and or endorsement of third-party products. Now, lots of things are on the table here for these Division II athletes, uh, including being paid for their autographs while not representing the school, as well as being paid to make certain appearances. Uh, also, selling memorabilia, and that could be something that would happen at any point in time in their career, not just when those student-athletes graduate. Crowdfunding, student-athletes could be a part of that. Now, that's only in extreme circumstances. Student-athletes would not be permitted to, you know, get online and, and crowdfund to be able to take care of tuition or books or things like that, but could be involved in the event uh, of friends or families or, or uh, people in the community whose house is burned down or there have been uh, major medical bills, things along those lines. Students could also charge fees now or student athletes could charge fees now for private lessons. Now this could be something that often is considered for students at a university, maybe in the musical department, that uh, charge for private lessons to be able to teach other students how to play instruments, how to sing, things like this. This may be something that student athletes then could do to be able to charge lessons, to be able to teach others how to play their particular sports. Also could be able to hold camps and clinics. Now anything that would take place on university property, obviously the same rental agreements would have to go into place as anyone else that would not be able to, to be shown favoritism in that regard just because they're student athletes. Uh, schools also then would be able to help student athletes along the way in uh, how to report and how to take care of things, but the schools would not be allowed, according to this legislation, legislation to be able to make arrangements for the student athletes to be able to benefit from their name and image and likeness as well. Uh, the student athletes wouldn't be allowed to miss class <laughs> to be able to take part in an opportunity for this. Uh, reporting would be something that would be key as anything that is done on the NCAA level, everything have, would have to be reported properly. And this one is big also. Student athletes would be able to hire agents not only for the name, image, and likeness, but also to be able to uh, further the professional sports career. Now, when enrolling in a Division II school, that would have to be severed. So there would not be able to, they would not be able to have an agent to be able to promote them to professional sports while enrolled in the Division II school. However, agents could be involved in helping get the student athletes name, image, and likeness out there. These are some of the things that are on the table and again getting the legislative wording together for the Division II President's Council to be able to submit this or submit this, excuse me, to the 2021 NCAA convention. And that's news from Division II. Of course, uh, all of this would seem to necessitate that sports actually take place. So that would be something that would uh, be key for that as well. Thanks for watching this today on Midwest Sports Net. Again, I'm Joey McWilliams, and please do consider subscribing to the channel Midwest Sports Net. God bless you, and have a great day.